we make something to shine up? What do, what do we make? Try to make something to shine up. We're making a deal. We're making something. I don't know, but it's a trade. Why would they want to make a shoe to make a because well, what? Well, what? Hold on. Listen, listen. One, one person at a time, guys. What do we do? One person at a time. What do we make? What do we make that we send over to China? Food. Okay. Let me ask you a question. How, all right. So you have, we have, we have. I, I don't know how many. We could, we could figure this out. We could look at this in terms of percentages. Um, that would be an interesting way to examine this. What percentage of stuff that we have is made in China? Oh, oh no. no! Snap, QR. Oh. Damn, shucks. All right. What? How else can we figure shucks, out? Shucks. What other conclusions could we draw here? Thirty-one. Thirty-one out of I don't know how many. What's the total? Somebody, somebody, do a quick. Forty-nine. Oh, 49. There we go. Thirty-one out of forty-nine. Right we got it. We got it. We got it. Thirty-one out of forty-nine. Thirty-one out of forty-nine. What's the What's the percentage on that? Uh, twenty-six. <laughs> Like, that's probably around 5 percent. Yeah. How do you figure out percentage? You divide and all Okay, hold on. I made 30, what I have for? I'll tell you how to do it. Who's your race? You're not going to tell about it. It's like 60%. How'd you come up with that? Because I rounded the 45. Hold on. Shh. I want to I want to answer this question because some people are saying we. I asked the question, what do we send over to China? People are saying, you know, we send clothes and we send food. We send, but China makes up what percentage? Okay, we got ninety-nine. What do we say? Thirty-one out of forty-nine. Yeah, We checked forty-nine. Elliot. We, we checked 49 pieces of clothing, and 31 of them were made in China. 31 of them were made in China. So how did you figure out that it was about 60%? Because I rounded 49 to 50, and then I times both numbers by 2. You times so I, them? Yeah. What is that? I don't know what that means. Multiply, multiply by 2, so I got like, so like 62% out of 100. So that's what I figured out. Okay. Multiply by 2. So I got So 60 out of 100? 60 out of 100 is 60 percent. So you round it, yeah, and then multiply to get a percentage. What's another way we could figure out the percent? What if it wasn't easily roundable? Then we had to. How do you figure out percentages? Divide what by what? Oh, So you divide 31. Divided by 49. 40 percent. No. So how you do it? How do you figure? So, shh, relax. Shh, shh. Let's all figure this out together. So, 49 no. divided by 31? No. No. It's the other way. It's the other way. What do you mean? It's 31's in the box and 49's out there. Guys. Shh. 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 31 divided by 49. Mm -hmm. It's going to give us a, you know, 5 something, da da da. Okay, it's going to give us point, it's going to give us 0 0.5 something. Right, five, probably five nine or five eight. So it's almost sixty percent. Either way, okay. Sh see how you see how. First thing I want to point out is we take a step back. First thing I want to point out is you see how math is helpful in helping us figure things out. Okay, because now we can say, well, we send clothes over to China. Why would we send clothes over to China if they're sending sixty percent of the, everything that we own and are wearing right now? 60% of what we own came from China. Are you gonna send? Are you gonna send clothes over to China? No. Probably not. Most of the clothes, you, as you notice, if you go back, 49, right? What percentage out of the 49 was made overseas? Only five are made in the U.S., right? So five out of 49 is approximately, if you double it, 10%. So only 10% of the clothes was made in the United States. Does everybody see how I got that number? Okay, use the same method that Taylor did, which is just estimate. So about 10% of the clothes is made in the U.S. So we're probably not sending a lot of clothes over to China. So to go back to the question, it still begs the question, why are so much of our clothes made overseas? And Elliot's